St. Louis County Prosecutor's Office tells News 4 more people have come forward in a controversial case. This comes after a documentary aired last week. It's about a local woman who accused her former coach of sexual assault. But Emily Morris died before she could face him in court. News 4 investigator Lauren Traeger explains how this is reviving hope in a cold case. It seemed that Emily and Coach Wilder had a normal student-coach relationship. But Emily kept a terrible secret. Just one week ago, the Oxygen Network detailed the story of Emily Morris, a local woman who accused her former Lindbergh High School cross-country coach, Jim Wilder, of sexually abusing her close to 20 years after it happened. Even in your case, we did something that wasn't right according to our laws these days, right? But you know I'm not a creeper. Along with police, in 2013, she recorded him, and Wilder was charged. This kind of stuff, if we were the same age, would have been no problem. But in 2014, Morris, who had struggled with depression and alcoholism, was found dead in her Baldwin apartment from asphyxiation, her head in a trash can, police never determining for sure if it was an accident or something more. It really is just a tragedy. Prosecutor Wesley Bell telling News 4 after the documentary aired, they would review any additional evidence about her death and explaining why his office under the previous administration dropped the charges against Wilder. Without the alleged victim, um, it would be very difficult to prove this type of case uh, in a court of law. The Oxygen Network calling it the case that died with her. When the story broke on Sunday, my, my phone has not stopped. But Morris's friend Christine Lieber believes it's all about to change. I am confident that with the other victims that came forward, we will get justice this time. Just a week ago, Lieber started a Facebook page, Emily's page, that now has 2,500 members. People showing support and sorrow, but also sharing their own stories of alleged inappropriate behavior suffered at Lindbergh schools. Additional accusations, Lieber says, not just against Wilder, but other district employees as well. Primarily women victims are coming forward and telling their stories. And... Um, it's the same names over and over and over. Lieber sharing a story of her own about a Lindbergh employee when she was in high school. I remember um, being asked to crawl up in arms with him in his van and him trying to kiss me. And this man is 40 years older than me. Monday, Bell's office sent a statement to News 4 saying, quote, I can confirm that we have been contacted by some individuals in the wake of the Oxygen documentary and my appearance on KMOV. We place a high priority on seeing that allegations are investigated and reviewed for potential criminal charges. We spoke to Wilder by phone Monday and requested an on-camera interview. He said he wanted to consult an attorney, but said what he was accused of with Morris is not what took place. He called any other allegations against him bull. I know that um, she's been there this whole way. Lieber says Morris only wanted the truth told and other children protected. I truly believe that if she were to get the help that she needed as a victim at the time, that she would have still been alive today. Lieber and other people feel that Lindbergh failed to act in this and other situations. A spokesperson for the district sent us a statement saying, quote, any allegation of misconduct by a staff member is deeply troubling and we take it very seriously. They also say they have not received any formal complaints, but they encourage anyone with information to contact their local law enforcement office or the district's human resources department. We have a lot more information about how to report if you're a victim on our website and the KMOV News app. Potentially a lot more to come on this case, and we will keep following it. I'm Lauren Traeger, News 4 Investigates.